What's going on, YouTube land? Yes, I am King, and I am back. <laughs> Remember, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. It's time. The time is right now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Come on now. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? But for real, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell, you know what I'm saying? Get a notification every time I post awesome videos just like this. <laughs> I like that. Just like this. Anyway, <laughs> um, another thing. Go ahead and thumbs up. Hit that like button. Well, it's been a minute since I did an episode of Talk Music. But Talk Music NT is back. And I'll get into why I went away a little later. But I've been busy working on a lot of things. Music, working on a new project. And I just had to take a break. But I'm not going to take any more of your time. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, I need to put my glasses on. I took notes. <laughs> Ooh, that coffee good. Well, it has been a crazy week in entertainment. And here on Talk Music Entertainment. Oh, before I get started, I just want to give a special shout out to my homegirl, Kendra. Your single, your new single, Ex Best Friend, is blowing up on YouTube right now. So, I'm going to put a link. In the description below just so y'all can check out that video with a small cameo from your boy me <laughs> but I'll talk about that a little later let's just jump right into it this week let's see what we got what we got what we got I want to talk about Braxton family value what an explosive season finale this season itself period has been really really wild um for the braxton you know they shut down production and it was really really crazy so i wrote down um i call it my pistols i got some pistols some bullet points <laughs> just some just a few topics oh i'm sorry not topic but just a few things that went on in this final episode that i just want to talk about okay first up ayana venza I can never say her name right. Like, for real. I can never say her name right. <laughs> but, um, Ayana versus Tamar. Well, it was very explosive, like I said. Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. Tamar is definitely the baby of the family. But, I think, um, at her age, sometimes her attitude and just the way she act can be very very inappropriate with that being said i am a huge fan of tamar i think she got an amazing voice and i love her personality tamar is really the show um okay no 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 let me not say that because everybody plays a part because i love tracy i love tuana i love tony i love them all you know what i'm saying all as a whole and i get um when they're not together on the show you know it 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 wasn't all that great for me. You know, I appreciate the little cameos from Flavor Flay, you know, and that little, ha what is it, the little housewife, the one who got kicked out of housewife. Yeah, her. Uh-huh, her. Uh-huh. I enjoyed the little cameos from them, but it ain't the same without the original Braxton family. <sighs> Don't send me no message right now. I'm recording. What's going on with these people? But anyway, it's not the same without Tony, Tamar, Trina, Tawana and Tracy. Tracy. By the way, shout out to Tracy, man. I just saw last night on Title that her album was out. So I got to really, really get into that. And I will say that Tracy um, single, um, Broken Heart, is one of my favorite records out this year. Okay, moving right along. Miss E. Yes, Miss Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Yes. Once again, she gets in Tamar ass. And it was well needed. Actually, I think it's, it took, you know, um, a little too long. I think someone should have been got in her ass. <laughs> but Miss E, she didn't play with Miss Tamar at all. <laughs> like, she really... And then, while she's, you know, digging in Tamar ass, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Trina. Trina want to chime in just a little bit. 
No, Miss E shut that down real quick, like real quick, <laughs> really quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, we all know that the main issue for the overall um, season of the family Braxton value was a broken agreement between Tracy, Tawana, Tamar, and Trina. I don't know if Tony had a lot to do with it. That's why I was a little confused by it, but I don't know. Moving right along, um, Tony Braxton admit that she disliked her whole entire family, and she went as far as to say that if they wasn't family, she don't even think they'll be friends. <laughs> well, Trina been optimistic. She don't think that, you know, Tony really meant that. But hey, from how, from what I saw, and for how Tony facial expression was set up, I think Tony meant that shit. I'm just gonna be honest. I just really think Tony meant it. I'm just, I'm just put it out there. I just think Tony meant it. I just think Tony meant it. I'm put it out there. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Tony admits she didn't like her family. Um, okay, I just thought of this. But, you know, while we're talking about the Braxton family value, um, I just was very curious, and I've always been curious about, about this. Like, it seemed like the uh, standards and just, you know, it just seemed like things are just different for Tracy. And I wonder why is it like that, you know what I'm saying, like, with Tracy. And I know everybody have with the black sheep or the outcast or whatever in the family. Hey, that's me and my family. But at the same time, I don't know, it's like, why y'all be wanna beat up on Tracy? You know, like, <laughs> I like Tracy. Who can fix these broken things? Who can put it back together? Man, I'm sorry, I know I'm off track. But back to Tracy. <laughs> broken uh, heart, uh, what is it, broken things? When that chorus come on and Tony Braxton low register um i'm sorry tony braxton low tone drops with that beat oh my god it's like a musical orgasm shout out to my team auburn baby auburn baby it's time october 6th we play mississippi state tonight at 7 30 i'm so excited moving right along um Uh, I really think that Ayanna Vandal was very spot on with this whole entire session. Um, I really think that, like, she she was really... It, it's mighty funny that one of the um, cast members on Bossup said that she never seen Ayanna fix anybody like, but she fixed the brass. And I was thinking that when the show ended. I'm like, hmm. Which even had me further confused. Because Tamar was just on Wendy Williams and she was calling this lady the devil. And I'm like, I was just confused, period. Because we TV, just with the previews and just, you know, the anticipation, the build up, it all seemed like, it didn't seem like it would go in the way that it actually ended. But I'm, I'm very pleased with the, um, with the ending and the outcome of the whole session. I really, really hope that. You know, they continue and, you know, because I, I want another season. I love the Braxton. I'm just put it, put it out there. I love the Braxton. <laughs> I love them. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Miss E. Miss Evelyn. Miss Evelyn. Miss Evelyn. You is a tough cookie. And all my friends that was over here watching it with me, I just kept saying it the whole episode. This lady, she's always been a tough cookie. <laughs> when, she, when she got and take my ass. Made her shut up. Made her respect her elder. I was like, remember back, remember back them other seasons? You remember that time, Tay Mama, she said she'll slap the piss out of you? Come on now, don't act like we, come on, this tough cookie. Well, you know Mr. Braxton get it too. He gets it. Miss Evelyn, just, I mean, and I understand where Ayanna was coming from because I've been in a relationship and I still have love for, for um, a few of my ex. 
Um, one in particular, we, we managed to actually have a friendship. It was 11 years ago, and, you know, I'm really cool with the family or whatever. So, we're cool. I love them to death. Do I want them back? No. No. <laughs> but, you know, I still, the love is still there. But, Miss Braxton, I'm sorry, Miss Evelyn, <laughs> she don't love uh, Michael. That's the dad name, right? Mr. Braxton, mm -mm. there's no love. He, and the man said he had feeling for her. You know, it's like, dang, you don't love me, but I still got just, you father my, you, I'm sorry, you the mother of my children. Come on, no love? <laughs> you gets no love. No love at all. Miss E went as far as to say that her husband died <laughs> when she got divorced. I'm like, dang, that's so fucked up. That man's sitting right there beside you. He's like, right there. But in her mind, he gone. After the, after the divorce, finito, it was done. Did I use that word correctly? Because I'm, I'm terrible with words. And English was my favorite subject. <laughs> but anyway, um, you can really tell that Tony is very, very overwhelmed with the whole situation, everything that was going on, like Tony and Tracy facial expression, especially when Tamar, um, right before Tamar breakdown, when she was talking to Tracy, and Tracy was like, she had that look like, bitch, whatever, like I don't know, man. But Tony and and Tracy facial expression was just like they was over it. They had enough. I was really concerned about what was going on through their mind. Um, but with it all, I'm sorry, through it all, Tamar, even after her breakdown, um, and she admitted one of the best part about the show, she admitted that she was proud of Tracy and just, you know, she um, gave Tracy the praise that she deserved. And I was so so livid for that moment like yes come on recognize tracy tracy is awesome come on now and i really feel like i don't want to call tamar bully but it's obvious you know what i'm saying and she may not try it. i don't think she tried to be the bully in the family it's all as it, it goes back to what mr braxton was saying when he said that you know they pretty much she's the baby so they have allowed Tamar to be Tamar for so long with no consequences, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just Tamar. Mm-mm, baby. Ayana, Iyana, Van Zyl. Fix that. Fix that. But one of my favorite part about um, about the finale is when Tamar, you know, doing a breakdown or whatever, and she was like, she allowed her heart to cry. Me? As an artist, as a songwriter, I'm like, mm, that's a song. <laughs> but for real, though, no, I'm like, yes, Tamar. I really, really felt Tamar. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I was you know, high, some weed, and I had company over. But I think if I would have been how by myself, I think I would have cried with Tamar because it was really, really heartfelt. Like, I've, we've all seen Tamar apologize a million times and you know what I'm saying but it it was never that genuine I really really feel like it was very genuine for you to cry like that and make that face because I'm like no baby <laughs> do you see what yeah and I'm loving the haircut I'm like Tamar it's cute I like this but baby when she started cry mm -mm. don't do that don't do that don't Moving right along. <laughs> Moving right along. Mr. Kanye West. My musical genius. Should be your musical genius too, cause Kanye is the shit. But anyway, um Mr. Kanye West just wants to be called Ye. That is correct. Kanye West has changed his name to Ye. And in other news, Kim Kardashian West. Is upset with Kanye West about band-aids. Come on, oh, are you serious? And now the media is going crazy and there's rumors saying that, you know, they're heading toward 
a divorce, and I hope that is not true. You know what I'm saying? I'm all well. To be honest, I really don't. I mean, because they're married with kids and stuff. I, cause I ain't gonna say I don't like Kim. Kim's okay, but Chloe's my favorite. But Kanye, Kanye is like you know, like my Beyonce, my Drake, my Brandy, my Mary. Like I love those people. My Kanye, like Kanye is one of my favorite rapper people. Kanye is one of my favorite rapper. Kanye is one of my favorite producer. Kanye is one of my favorite songwriter. He, and he's one of the best. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm just favor, favoring him, you know, just because. But, you know, the man has a incredible, um, his accolades are sickening. Come on now. Like, his discography is everything. Kanye is sick, 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 sick. But I, I really do feel like the media is tanning that tan him down. And as a black man, I'm not gonna take no parts in tearing another black man down. I'm just sorry. I'm just don't, don't want no parts of it. Especially somebody who I like. Like I like Kanye West. And Kanye West is definitely a musical genius. And sometimes geniuses are so smart and, 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 and into what they're doing to where you may drive him a little crazy. But at the same time, it still don't take away from his incredible creativity and just the incredible music that he made. Even even the little uh, album that he put out, uh, EP or whatever, it was dope. It was really, every track, every track was the shit. Come on now. But anyway, yeah, he changed his name to Gay. Him and Kim was into it about some bad days. Move right along. Carla B turned herself in. Ah, because I'm talking so fast. Uh -huh. But yeah, Carla B turned herself in. Yeah, moving right along. Y'all already know about that. Okay. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to talk about. Because he is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite person. Like, Andre Fuller. Not to mention, he's just incredibly handsome. But, um, just him as a person. Like, I studied him. Um, yes, I studied him. <laughs> This man played ball in college, like, uh, very smart, um, come on, man, he's, he's, he's just a good guy all around for what I've seen, but Andre Fuller, uh, Andre Fuller, however some people may say it, um, he put on Instagram that there would definitely be a reboot of the L.A. Complex. And if you know who I'm talking about, you already know that he played Kaiser King on the show. Yes, 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 yes. That's when I fell in love. And um, he, uh, well, he don't know, and we don't know if, if, if he will be a part of the uh, new L.A. Complex. But I definitely hope he is because it's almost not the L.A. Complex without Kendrick. Come on now. We some kings around here. We are kings. Come on, you need your royalty. <laughs> you need your royalty family. But anyway, um, and moving right along to um, sad news or maybe glad news. Who knows? But about, what, two, three days ago, Beyonce, my queen, and Jay-Z, her husband, officially wrapped the un... Uh, I'm sorry. Officially wrapped up the On The Run 2 tour. It is done. Done, done. They all made all their millions. Hey. Um, I heard they gross like five hundred. I'm, I'm sorry, five million dollars a uh, a show. Well, I also heard Tay Tay. No, I'm sorry, not Tay Mar. Taylor Swift grow six hundred million a show. Mhm. Mm That's Tay Tay. And if anybody else in this music industry can compete with Beyonce when it comes down to tour, sold out tours and arena. Taylor Swift and Adele definitely are up there with Beyonce. Like, come on. There ain't many up there with Beyonce, but Taylor Swift and Adele are definitely up there. But, yeah, the On The Run tour is done. It's done. And when I say bad, sad news, because, you know, I wish they could have just kept touring and touring and touring. I would love to see them three, four, five, six times. <laughs> Although I did. I have seen Beyonce, like, twice. Um... Hopefully, Beyonce is working on a solo album now. And not to take away from the Carter, um, the Carters, I'm sorry, album, not to get confused with 
Lil Wayne, which he dropped the record. He dropped this album, and it's awesome. T.I. dropped the album, and it's awesome. Mario, come on, Mario. Mario, however you want to say it, this man, R&B legend. Mario is like one of the best people in R&B, best vocals in our generation. I love that dude. He dropped an album. August Alcina dropped a new record. Um, Who else, who else, who else? And some other people dropped album, but back to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Not to say that um, that album wasn't dope, because that album was dope as fuck. But of course, we, as Beehive, we just like Beyonce by ourselves too, you know what I'm saying? So, if, you know, take a couple of months off and drop Lemonade 2. Nah, we don't want Lemonade 2. Um, give us something else. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's about all I have. I tried to run through that really, really quick. And I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, I just had to get that off. <clears throat> Shit. Mm -mm. But I just had to get that, get all of that out really, really quick and as fast as possible because I've been trying to actually do this video for like two, three days now, and I just been so freaking busy. Oh. <laughs> my life, my schedule is just crazy. But before I let you guys go, don't forget. To like, thumbs up, I'm sorry, thumbs up, and subscribe, hit that bell, and check out my, one of my best friends, one of my ace, check out her new record, man, it's called X Best Friend, like I said, I made a cameo in the video, the song is really, really dope, ho, oh, you never been real, always been fake, hiding in the bushes, undercover ass state. Thought you was, mm, that was a lie. Mm, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But it dope though. It dope. It dope. Y'all gotta check it out. I'm gonna make sure um, I put the information down. Look at her. See what I'm saying? I love her. I love her. Uh, never mind my studio. It's a mess right now. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm booked. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, um, I'm going to put a link down below so y'all can check that video out. Let's support our family, our people, my royal family. Because y'all are my royal family. Y'all are my royal family. Y'all are my musical family. Y'all are my family. We family, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, we got to support each other. That's why I need y'all to subscribe to my channel and, 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 and hit that bell and, 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 and thumbs up. That's it. <laughs> I am King Philippe, and yes, I am working on new music, so be on the lookout for that. And we're going to get these shows back rolling consistently like it should. I really appreciate you. I thank you guys for rocking with me, listen, listening to what I had to say about what was going on in the entertainment um, world for this week. Um, maybe a lot of things that I didn't talk about, but those are just... Just some of the things that stuck out to me. Oh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I can't believe that. This not even right. I can't believe I ain't even write that down. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I'm a huge fan of Team Mom OG. And I like Team Moms too. Um, too. But um, yeah. Team Mom is back. And we got some new faces. And I'm going to talk about that a little later on. But I just want to let y'all know Team Mom is back. I love it. Come on, OG. And I'm so glad Farrah is out the show. That bit of bitch. <laughs>